Welcome friends. In this video, we shall learn argument or amplitude of a complex number for different signs of real and imaginary parts. This is very important topic. Let us start learning the topic. Suppose we are given a complex number z is equals to x plus iota y where x is positive y is also positive and if we want to represent this complex number in the argon plane then we can represent it like this suppose this is the point p which represents the complex number x is the real part of the complex number y is the imaginary part of the complex number and this point here is o origin and this point p makes if we join this point p with origin then we have a positive angle suppose we uh, denote this acute angle by alpha which satisfy the condition and alpha is equals to mod y over x where y is imaginary part of the complex number and x is the real part of the complex number then the argument or we can say amplitude argument which we denote by theta is equals to alpha in this condition where both x and y this means both real part and imaginary part are positive then the argument will be equals to alpha where alpha is the acute angle satisfying the condition tan alpha equals to mod y over x so this this means in first quadrant if the complex number is in first quadrant of the argon plan then the argument will be equals to alpha where alpha is a, uh, is an acute angle which satisfies the tan alpha equals to mod y over x let us move to the next part and that is second suppose we are also given a complex number z equals to x plus iota y where x is negative and y is positive this means in argon plane we are in second quadrant this is our argon plane and this is first quadrant and if we we represent this complex number by point p which uh, whose coordinate are x and y where x is a real part of the complex number and z is the imaginary part and if we join this point P with the origin and this is alpha then we can easily calculate that the argument which is theta is equals to pi minus alpha in this condition when x is negative this means real part is negative and imaginary part is positive then the argument will be pi minus alpha then argument which is theta is equals to pi minus alpha where tan alpha is equals to mod y over x where y is imaginary part and x is the real part so this is the second part of the topic and let us move to the third part in third part suppose we are given a complex number z equals to x plus iota y where x is negative and y is also negative both x and y are negative this means x real part and imaginary parts are negative then how we can calculate the argument of this type of complex number this is very easy to us suppose this is our argon plan and we have a complex number 
x plus iota y and we denote it by a point p whose coordinates are x and y and suppose this is alpha then this is our argument and argument is theta and th it will be minus pi minus alpha so in this condition when a both x and y are negative then argument which is theta will be equals to minus pi minus alpha where tan alpha is equals to mod y over x let us move to the last part of this topic and that is fourth part and in this condition suppose we are given a complex number x plus iota y where x is positive and y is negative then what will be the argument in this condition suppose this is our argon plan clearly this complex number is in fourth quadrant suppose this is the point p which represents the complex number x plus iota y and this is alpha in this condition theta will be equals to minus alpha therefore argument which is theta is equals to minus alpha in this condition where a uh, real part is positive and imaginary part is negative so this is how we can calculate argument of a given complex number thank you